Hey, it's Glam Ham. Guess what time it is? It's time for another unboxing. And this one is just about as sweet, tasty, juicy as it gets. I've literally been nervous to open this because I'm so excited. What lurks inside this box potentially is currently the best handheld radio for amateur radio operators that you can buy. It's so sweet, tasty, juicy, I can almost. You know we gotta do one. No pops. No pops. Oh, I forgot this is coming to film. This is a clue. This is a Bluetooth headset and it goes with the main attraction. Let's just ogle this for a minute, because this is pretty special. What is this? It's ICOM's latest and greatest handheld transceiver for amateur radio operators that does require a license. As you know, I'm sure, this model is the ID52A, and I am going to tell you why, in my opinion, this is the Cadillac. Rolls Royce even of transceivers that are fully handheld and portable. Okay, I'm gonna open it together. Okay. Warranty stuff. Manual. We'll save that until another day. My heart has a sensation right now looking at this radio. I feel the excitement in my heart looking at this. Little belt clip. Charger and out. Charging cable. Charging plug. Little wall wart. This radio though is also chargeable via micro USB. Some people are like, why not USB-C? I don't know about you, I have way more micro USB cables than I do USB-C. Battery, and here's a neat thing. Anyone looking at or owning the ICOM 705 uses the same battery, which is really nice. <gasps> I don't know what I'm thinking of a name. Name suggestions in the comments. Just fell out. We need this puppy. Antenna. Feels like a wand. This definitely is the nicest antenna that I have opened yet for a handheld. This just feels fancy. Fancy, fancy. It's like Harry Potter's wand. I'm gonna put his little battery on. Best part. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is the Rolls Royce of ham radios, portable handheld ham. This is kind of, to be honest, like a base station that you can have in your pocket. This does a lot of stuff. It is, first of all, a dual band ham radio. That means it does UHF and VHF. That is two meters and 70 centimeters, right? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary there. It has dual receive, which means you can listen to two UHF, 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 VHF, 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 or two digital voice, digital voice, D-star, simultaneously. 
which is very cool. And what is D Star? D Star is ICOM's open uh, protocol that allows you to use a combination of RF radio frequencies and the internet to use this radio to talk to people all over the world. Wow. Wow, this is just so gorgeous. I keep. <laughs> I'm going to edit out all the blank pauses where I'm just staring at this radio. It's bigger than I expected. And check it out, D-Star Guide. Great, because I'm new to D-Star. Oh, look, this is just what I want to see. Nice, simple pictures. What is D-Star? Great. Is you and your ICOM 52A and a repeater or hotspot and internet. And then you talking around the world. Wow, this might be my favorite manual yet. Yeah, look at this. This is the kind of manual that doesn't give me anxiety. So thank you, ICOM, for making this really, really simple. Wow, they literally tell you how to do everything, right from registering your call sign with the gateway repeater so you can get on d -Star. This is great. Look at this. Here's a picture of you and me talking around the world. Possibly the first manual I have opened up that I genuinely think I can tackle. It's also waterproof, by the way. It has built-in GPS. Why is built-in GPS so useful on this? ICOM pre-puts in all of the world's repeaters for your um, UHF, VHF, and digital voice D-Star. So you can drive around and travel the world with this and simply enable the GPS and press repeater near me and bam, none of that annoying, frustrating programming in repeaters. Power levels. This radio has multiple power levels, five watts, two and a half watts, one watt, 0.55 watts, and 0.1 watt. Why would you ever want 0.1 watt? Well, if you get a hotspot, for example, I just got the Bridgecom Systems hotspot, it does not only DMR, but it also does D-Star. If I'm five feet from this radio with a hotspot, I don't need five watts. You can listen to Broadcast FM. You can listen to Airband on VHF and UHF, and you can monitor military frequencies with this radio. You can get free software from ICOM and apps that allow you to share images using the radio and the app, which is pretty cool. But the best feature for me, the feature that sets this radio apart from all others is its band scope. Waterfall. Like the fancy HF transceivers you guys have seen me using that have the beautiful waterfall where you can see the activity. This puppy has one of those. This is a death investigation because that was clearly a detective. Walked out wearing a blue shirt wearing a tag over his... Uh, uh, no, that was the thing. So how great is that? Instead of scanning and scanning and scanning, you can just look at that scope and you can see where the activity is. That is insanely cool.